Okay, this is part two. It's going to get interrupted. I'm just giving you the heads up. There will be background noise. There will be people who do not give a damn that I'm actually making a video right now. And I would love to be back outside doing part two, but cell phone batteries and camera batteries, they don't ever last long enough for people who are long-winded like me. All right, so as you know, Scalp Hunter, John Gray Crow, probably didn't say the name right this time around. Doesn't matter. What does matter is that him and the Marauders are what led to Madeline Pryor's change of heart with the help from a couple of demons and some other stuff. And love make you do dumb shit. And so does Greed. So as far as the Marauders and, um, you know, said people go, I don't know if Archlight is a native. But we're going to find out. Is Archlight from Marvel Comics a Native American? According to Wikipedia, Arclight is a mutant supervillain appearing in American comic books published by Marvel Comics. Arclight. I don't know why I always call her Archlight. We're going to Wikipedia. And the reason why is her and, um, her and Skullpunter are the main two people of, um, the Marauders. They're the main lead. Her name is Felipe Strongtag. Um, let me see, what's her biography? You guys can do your research on her. It would help. Oh, she has a shockwave power, but it's not telling me what her ethnicity is. Mercenary. Blah, blah, blah. Mercenary, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. blah. It's literally not giving me anything about her ethnicity. Arc lights, power and ability. She is very skilled at short range weapons, hand to hand combat, shock waves, and tremors, which is really irrelevant at this point. No. But she's the number two in the Marauders. No. So apparently, Sinister resurrects her a lot. No, I don't know why he resurrects her. And I don't know why it's not giving me her ethnicity. It's giving me everything but her ethnicity. First appeared in Uncanny X-Men 1986. The Mutant Massacre. I don't remember that, but okay. So I'll have to go look and see if I have X-Men Comic 211. But, um... Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't give me anything. Something about the Vietnam War. I have to do this when I can get more prepared and more time, as you guys can hear the background noise. So I apologize to you for that. But I will show y'all who she actually is. No. Because it's not like anybody literally gives a flying snot of the fact that I'm making a video. So that's Arch Light. Arc Light. Sorry. I will continue to call her Arch Light because when I was reading these books, I have a reading disability, so irrelevant to the video. But yeah, she's the number two for the Marauders. But I don't know her ethnicity, but her and Scalp Hunter are exceptionally close. I'm going to say that they possibly or may have had a relationship a few times or better because they are exceptionally friendly to each other. If you go read the Infernal Saga, you'll see how clingy she is to him to a certain extent. But it is what it is. Anyway, Scalp Hunter, a mutant, a native who basically has the same abilities as Forge. Um, also a veteran of the United States Army. He served in World War II. He does not have super strength, but he's very, very, very durable. And um, he has to be since he was killed by firing squad in World War II. Now, we got to the fact that he's Comanche. And, you know, um, he's an underrated villain. No, he's a very underrated villain. So you guys need to go do your research on that. And I would recommend that you do that. Right now, I'm Echo Fang Grey Wolf. This is Comfort Having Number Two. I'll do another Native American later, like when everybody's the fuck asleep. Thanks for watching.